Okay, the incline dumbbell curl. Uh, we're going to be using an incline bench. I'm also going to be using a set of dumbbells. Okay, now what we're going to be doing, I'm going to demonstrate this in a few, uh, in a few ways. We're going to be doing an alternate curl. We can also do it together, okay? Now, if you don't have an incline bench and you just actually want to do it seated, then by all means do so. You don't have to have a bench there. The reason I'm actually using this and why I like to use it is because by laying back a little bit there, it just prevents a little bit more swing, providing a little bit more isolation for the biceps, okay? If you want to do this stood up, then by all means do so. Uh, the method of how we're actually going to lift the dumbbells always remains throughout uh, all, the, all the exercises, just the variations all towards a certain piece of apparatus such as this. Okay, now what we're going to do, begin with, dumbbells. Really important that you always start with the back of the hand facing towards the mirror or, or basically away from you. Okay, you may see people starting like so or at the side. Okay, what I always like to do is make sure that they're facing that way. Alright, the reason for this is, is that we have two sets of bi uh, muscles within the bicep. Okay, now Simply curling all the time like so is okay, but the long head of the bicep controls elevation. Now, if we don't put a twist in the arm, which actually is the small head of the bicep controls rotation, if we miss out the rotation part of an exercise, we're missing a, a, a huge part of the exercise itself. Okay, so what we're going to do is always start with the back of the hands, rotate and lift. Now, a really important and crucial part of the lift is never ever bring that weight too close to his body. By closing up that part of the exercise, I could sit here now for about 10-15 minutes and explain the differences, why's and knots of doing this. The reason being is that this weight here, currently in this position, weighs very little because it's into my centre of gravity. What we're actually after doing is causing the muscle to break. Okay, you're stopping that weight from going any further. The second it goes past that effort point, the point of effort obviously diminishes. So, rotate, lift, curl, down, rotate, lift, curl, down. Notice that the angle, about 90 degrees there. Now, that's doing it alternately one at a time. To also increase the effort, we can go both together. So, twist and curl, down, twist, curl, down. Now, whether you stood up, sat down, on the incline, the basic method of doing a bicep curl is always make sure you've got that rotation in there and never allow, allow the travel to, to continue too much.